Welcome back, losers, to Mr. Chow's Chickens. Today we're pulling up in the Lambo like usual, and we have something very exciting to show you. Very exciting. Go ahead, park Lambo, my little my little girl right there. Check up on my chickens. How you guys doing, my white ones? They eating well. Plenty of water. You can't just walk through the water like that, Louis. You're gonna get everybody else sick with their dirty feet. They eating good. Lots of food. Lots of food. Check up on the next ones. And, okay, so, very big surprise today. You probably see uh, in whatever you call it, you know, like the picture of the video, the thumbnail, I think, Spencer called it. By the way, we steal Spencer's channel once again, and I tell Spencer to tell you guys that you have to like all video. Otherwise, I'm not coming back. That's how I keep, like, Mr. Chow only come back if this video had a thousand like. You know? If you guys don't like me, then you don't hit like button. Spencer was telling me like how like button work, and if people like me, they hit it. And if you guys don't get hit at least thousand, it's like you guys don't even like me in the first place. So why I even come back? Why I even come back? How you doing? This guy I call I call Stu because he remind remind me of Stu, the guy we repo at Rolling Coal at Old Town Repo. We repo him, Stu. He looks just like Stu too. Hey Stu, back up. Stu coming at me. So, everybody eating good, everybody drinking good, you guys all feeling good? What about you? You feeling good too? They practicing their moves. Anyway, this video hit 1,000 like, Miss Chow come back for another video, and we have to keep doing that, otherwise Miss Chow never come back. You see how this work? Because if I'm not worthy, you know like the video, and if I'm worthy, you like the video. Anyway, enough talking about like, first thing we have to do... We go head up to the shop. Maybe we go check up on Roll Call on Old Town Repo. Maybe see if Granny there. Maybe we say hello to Granny, you know. He haven't given me a job in like two whole day. I don't even know what he's doing. He's like he's not even working. Mitchell always working. He always feeding chickens. We always making money. I have 31,000. Uh, I just spent like 50k on a new chicken. Chicken coop. My biggest one yet. So we heading over to the shop. I show you guys what Granny got me. Granny actually really nice guy. I used to Miss Chow used to not like Granny that much, but now Miss Chow love Granny. Granny buy Mr. Chow something very, very nice. I'll show you in one second. I saw your face in a clouded space. Alright guys, there we go. Let's turn off the radio real quick. Alright, I think shop right up here. Maybe. There we go. Miss Chow get some air. There we go. There we go. I have Chester in the back too, my my second favorite fighting chicken. Oh, I better not let him hear me say second. He think he number one. Anyway, Chester, stay in there. Don't come out, Chester. Ha, we woo ya. Ha, we woo ya. Everybody, look at this. Granty by Mr. Chow S790. John Deere? I've never seen a John Deere before. And Granny just go ahead by him. I think, I think Mr. Chow be doing really good at the. Oh, oopsie. Oopsie, Mr. Chow, sorry. I think that granny's jet ski. Oh, no. Miss Chow been doing really good at Old Town Repo. And I think granny, you know, he doesn't pay me too good, like salary. But I asked granny for a new combine in last episode. He kept saying no, no, no. But then he surprised me out of nowhere. So Mr. Chow get brand new combine. And I show you guys how this worked too. I'm going to go over and, you know, give granny big kiss. You know, give king big kiss for, you know... Doing this for Mr. Chow. They didn't even have to do this. Mr. Chow, very grateful. We go head over there. See what is going on. Go ahead. Hook up. Perfect. I think this is how you do it. Mr. Chow kind of getting used to the controls. Very different from my last combine. My last combine, I actually keep at Old Town Repo. You know, just in case we have to, you know, use the header or something to, you know, warn off some, some bad guys who we repo and then, you know, they come after us. It like a big weapon. It worked really good. I worried. Stu keeps sending me death threats. Like I was like, Stu, quit, quit sending me things. He he said he gonna get me in trouble. Uh oh, uh oh. I think I keep my police car out here overnight. That's not good. Let me move this. I'm gonna park it over here. Granny should be able to pick this up. You guys remember from last last repo? Crazy things go on. I have to make. I have to act like a cop. I have to do a lot. Now Stu, the guy we repoed. His little crotch rocket or whatever you call it. He crazy. I bet he come back or something for us. So we keep the combines. Miss Chow all combine. Because we can use it to warn him off. To block road. 
Is that Granny? There's Granny. How come we have all this stuff parked out here? Nice and weird. The heck going on? There's King! King! Look at my new whip, King. Yeah, he looking. You like what you see? You like? Oh, he going to lick it. Come on, King. Watch out. King, don't hurt it. Oh, he like to sit underneath. Good shade, King. Yes, yes. Here, King, I come feed. I, come, I don't want to run you over, King. I'm done with that. Come eat. Eat, Masla. Eat. There we go. Okay, I go pull up. Squad already see me. Thank you so much, Squad, for getting me my new gift. The S790. This is my favorite one. I was showing you in the magazine just yesterday. Anyway, Mr. Chow needed to get going. He needed to get farming. He needed to get all that stuff. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten chicken coop. I just I had nine. I just buy a new one. And you you make this possible. I tell all the chickens to come wor worship you. Anyway, toodaloo, Granty. We, we must be on our way to farm. Mr. Chow on his way back to the farm. And we, uh, hopefully no traffic. Otherwise, I just have to run over. Or they better reverse quick. And we're going to... Back to farm. We have a whole field to harvest. So we get this done real quick. This thing haul booty. We're going 26 mile an hour. My last... My last come, I go like 12. And I go like 2 mile an hour in the field. So this is super nice. Granny, oh my... God, I gave him such a big kiss before I left. Granny's such a nice guy. Everybody go thank Granny for this. I think you have a YouTube channel or something. Make sure you go check it out. You guys probably already know. That's how you hear about Mr. Chow. But really, really cool. We have all the... Look at that. We have our own TV remote right there. Or something like that. We have a seat for Mrs. Chow too. My wife, if you didn't know. Mrs. Chow, good, good looking. I get woman very easy. But this thing nicer than my house. Mr. Chow don't even have a house, because I always like living on, not on the street, but I always moving. Mr. Chow always moving, always working. I don't even have a house, losers. All right, my little chickens. Here I am, here I am. They're probably all stirring up. They're like, what the heck? How is Mr. Chow in that thing? The green machine or something. That's probably what they're thinking. There we go, honk them. They know what's up. It's feeding time. Mr. Chow around here, they get my smell. They get my whiff of smell. And they like it feeding time, so I, I feed my black chicken, my white chicken, my gray chicken, my roosters, my fighters. Now, Mr. Chow, official farmer, official, official, Mr. Chow. I, I didn't even know like all the brands and stuff, but I, I was here, John Deere, good, the green ones, but I really never know too good. Here, Mr. Chow, go. I should be able to eat the field in like two, two seconds. Like the whole entire, the width of it is insane. There we go. Go ahead. Unfold. Trying to get used to the controls. I'm just going to kind of... I was driving fine, but this might be a little weird. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, wrong button. Oh, no. Mr. Chow having trouble. There we go. I think I good. It's eating. All right. It's eating all the barley. Then we're going to go feed the chicks. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look. I literally... Mr. Chow doing the same one pass that he would do with six passes in the old combine. The old combine, a piece of poop, but it is a good weapon. Mr. Chow keep it at Old Town Repo, you know, like I say, just in case Stu come back. Stu, that little, that little guy, he make me so mad sometimes. He keeps sending me death threats. Mrs. Chow is worried. He gonna hurt the kids. He's gonna come with Mr. Chow away. I don't even know. There's a train again. I love that train. It get me out of a lot of bad situation. Mr. Chow, hurry up. Get this whole entire field done. I'm going to put it... I'm going to fast forward this part, okay? I'll see you guys in one second. Cold hand, frozen feet. Raindrops fall. I can't recall when I last saw the sun Summer's just a memory A faded piece of history No one can remember all the fun I'm heading over to my worker I'm on my way and we're going to unload He just about full So when he turn around Miss Chow go underneath his little pipe Fill up Then we go feed the chickens Miss Chow doing very good today I try to uh 
I try to tomorrow I have to kill just about eight of my chickens for food the child get really sad when he do this and I shed a tear every time I whack one of the head off to feed to send to KFC I, I cry but that's how I make my money the good thing the bad things there's all in between but mr. Chow just gets so sad when we have to do this he probably gonna destroy my tractor so much barley go in here the child probably can't even handle it go back and forth try and make it even oh hurry up miss chow there we go go in the back now oops spit a little bit slow it down go in the front just like this miss chow show you how to get this done we getting full the chow full now we let the worker keep going and then somehow we have to pick up the straw I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't even know how you get it out. I have to like rake it or something. But how am I gonna rake this? It's bigger than, than Mr. Chow. Before Mr. Chow forget, Spencer was telling me about some sort of farming tournament or something. And now that Mr. Chow, real farmer, I think I can do it. You guys wanted me to be in it. He kept saying, he's like, hey, all my fans keep saying like, Mr. Chow needs to be in it and all this. And I didn't really know at first. But now I can run the combine, I can run the tractor, I can feed the chickens, I can do everything. So I think Mr. Chow ready for it. And let me know what you think. Should Mr. Chow do it? What should he do in it? I think Spencer, Spencer TV say I do like cotton. And of course Mr. Chow have chicken farm on it. I win the whole, I take over the chicken market, the eggs, I sell the eggs. I fight all the other farmers chickens and I win. Mr. Chow win every time. Like I always say, Mr. Chow have a secret. A secret recipe. I feed the chickens. Make sure they're ready to fight and kill. And they, they make so many eggs. All the good stuff. These guys still hungry. They eat a lot. I think they eat a lot. But the plan is Mr. Chow have a cotton farm. And then also Mr. Chow have huge chicken farm just like this one. And we just sell all the eggs. We make so much money. These guys eat all my food. These brown chickens eating it all. How come these ones eat so much? All the other ones don't eat so much? I don't even know. But one thing I do know, these guys, I sell big money. I, about every day I make $50,000 in one single day. And then, but the thing is, Mitch, I have to buy new chickens. Mitch, I have a lot of costs. I have to pay my helper. I have to, I have to do a lot. I have to do a lot. So, pretty interesting. I think I might go back to my old ways, maybe. Because... You know, I need the money. Mr. Chow had a big party last weekend. That's why I wasn't here. Last weekend, Mr. Chow had a big party. We have lots of women over. We're hanging out with the chickens and all this. And that's not free. It's, it costs a lot of money. I need to quit doing that, actually. Here I go. We're we pulling in real nice, slow. Um, I think this is good. Oh, he fall. Whole entire bucket's full. Gonna jump up here. Come on, you fool. What the heck? How come you don't tell me, loser? Come on. Hey, you look like Stu. That guy kind of looks like Stu. Said Stu don't wear no cowboy hat. At least he don't wear a white cowboy hat. Maybe I call you Stu Jr. There we go. Keep unloading. Very good. Here we go. We off to the races. Go feed even more chickens. The field not even done. I thought it'd be done. Just two more passes look like and it'd be done. There we go. Miss Chow unloading here. Eat up my little chicken. These guys kind of small. These guys are the smallest, but they're young. There's something wrong with your feet. Hi hey, watch out. Stop hitting head. They keep running into each other like a bunch of dummies. Miss Chow didn't raise you like this, boys. Separate it. We fight the enemy, not each other. We friends. We all work together to be stronger. Okay, Mr. Chow, go back to the field. Everybody fall. What do I do with all my over... We're going to have way, way too much food. i just hold it in my trailer for now. Maybe wait till tomorrow. All of you guys hungry again. All right, my combine just about done with the field. So thank you all for watching today's video. Uh, Spence TV, I don't know. I give him back his channel for tomorrow or something. But Mr. Chow is going to be in farming tournament. 
I talked to Granny. He said he running tournament. I thought he repo guy, but I guess he farmer too. All that cool stuff. Everybody seemed like farmers. And Miss Chow gonna beat the whole entire tournament, win it nice and easy. Miss Chow have the best chickens, the best egg, and the best cotton in the whole wide world. Miss Chow, see you all in next video. Thank you for watching. 1,000 like, and Miss Chow come back. See you in bed.